Red pill ideology is detrimental to the developing minds of young men. From views that share a general hatred of women to how you shouldn't masturbate for upwards of 40 days, which has no scientific background whatsoever, this side of the internet is quite nauseating. So let's discuss some of their beliefs and see if we can provide a second, more healthy perspective on the topics they're discussing. I know you guys think, oh, I have a, now I have power because I blew my load into a plastic bag while boning is broad. You did, you just lost your power, bro. You lost your dignity. You lost your, you lost your, your state as a man in the power and, and, and you lost integrity in her eyes, even though she doesn't know it by giving yourself away to her. And then you lose your physiological strength by blowing your load. From what I gathered from this video, the guy saying that you're okay to do the diddly with a woman, but if you reach the climactic part, you have now lost respect in her eyes. You have lost your power as a man. Okay, babe, that's the new thing. Sex, but no orgasm for you. Yeah. Are you good with that? Thank you for agreeing. No, of course not. <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to call it some kind of power play to like have the do with a woman and then just stop right in the middle of it where you don't achieve your finish, but it doesn't actually impact you or your strength as a person. Also, it doesn't sound like much fun. And some of the comments of this video were saying that we're missing the point, that it's supposed to be how you shouldn't be having casual sex with people. You shouldn't be giving up your, I don't know, uh, purity? to any random person you meet on Tinder, I suppose, but plenty of people have very healthy, casual hookups, and it doesn't really seem to impact them very much. Only the red pill people. When a woman wants to get rid of you, she becomes the biggest bitch in the history of the world. That's the oldest trick in the book. If any of you guys have a girlfriend right now, and she's just being an intolerable bitch, the reason why she's doing that is, she wants you to break up with her, all right? That's what she's doing it for. That's her whole purpose. And the reason why she's doing that, she wants to find a better option. Or she might already have a better option. He's mixing up his words here a little bit because it's not women who do this. It is a particular type of person who acts this way. Man, woman, whoever. There is a type of personality that does not know how to handle direct forward conflict and so they go in a backhanded way to get what they want. And if it's the end of the relationship and the way to do that is to be a horrible person to the one you're with instead of just saying, I'm done, I want out, then they're gonna act that way. But it's not women, it's not a generalization, it's not an entire gender of people who act in a particular type of way. It is a type of person, a type of personality. As I always say, we are how we were raised to be. And if you were taught that that is the way to handle conflict, then that is what you are going to do regardless of who you are. When you're a nice, caring, genuine person, you attract broken people. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you right there, madam. Um, all of these bad boys and these guys who are quote unquote acting like nice people, you didn't find them. You didn't stumble across them. You chose them. Okay, I don't care if your past is littered with dudes who treated you terribly. The fact of the matter is, is that you chose those men. You didn't find them. Okay, you didn't stumble into a relationship. You as a woman, you have choice. You have agency in the dating market. These are two things that men, by contrast, have very little of. You know, this video would have been just fine if you didn't add that little part at the end about how men don't have the same level of agency as the women do. And really, it's not about gender. Everyone has a choice in a relationship to get with somebody or not and the only time where you lose that choice is if you're being abused anyone can be manipulated into getting into a relationship with a toxic person and the moment you think you can't be coerced is the moment that you will be but yes everyone has choice equal choice okay women don't care about you women don't care about us guys that's the way it is at the end of the day they only care about themselves that's what hypergamy is that's how it's designed to work. Women don't actually care about you, they care about their own needs being met. They care about their own survival. So your girlfriend or your wife, if you think that she cares about all of the emotional investment that you have put into your relationship with her, if you think that she cares how much time you've spent with her, how many years you've stayed together, how much money you've spent on her, she just doesn't care about these things. 
It's a common stance in the red pill community that women do not care about men and in some cases are even out to get them. But unless the person you're with is a sociopath or a genuine narcissist, they are going to care and consider and be grateful for the wonderful things that you do for them in a relationship. Because it's human nature to appreciate and have gratitude for things that better your life. And that actually leads to hypergamy. There is nothing wrong with trying to move up in life. Why wouldn't you want to be with someone who betters you in one way, shape, perform. But again, it's not women who don't care about men. It's certain types of people, personalities, who will not show care for you regardless of what you do for them, and their gender is completely irrelevant. Because those people are sociopaths. Oh, before Instagram and, and Tinder and all this, a girl had to put on nice clothes, dress really nice, and hope that a guy at her job or a guy, you know, she sees at the grocery store finds her attractive. Now, she could be in bed, post a booty pic, and get 100,000 likes. She can go to the gym, and guys just be like this. Oh my God, you're so hot. Stop staring at girls. Stop looking at them. I don't care, you, even if you find her attractive. No. Do not give her that free attention and validation. This man's argument is bullshit. I'm sorry, but it's not about validation. He's confusing a parasocial relationship with someone who is actually seeking partnership with another person. The women on social media today who are getting those 100,000 likes for posting a booty pic are trying to build a brand, build a business, and you are simply one of their clients. Liking, subscribing, or even paying for additional content, that is what she wants from you. She doesn't want you to be her boyfriend. She doesn't want to try and be your girlfriend. She's trying to become an influencer. And clearly they're doing it well if you're watching them. But she's not out here for your validation. It's not about you. Yeah, no fap. So uh, I've been doing this shit for the last 40 days and I've never felt better in my life. Everything in my life is better. Your, your masculine energy, your testosterone, when you're wasting that shit on those images and building unrealistic expectations for your relationships and life, that shit's setting you up for failure. It's fucked up. We live in a world nowadays where, where you have access to the shit at a very young age. I was watching that shit at 12 years old. That's over a decade of fucking my shit up. He's not wrong about the pornography. I got into it when I was nine years old and it reshapes your brain in terrible ways. The nofap though is utterly ridiculous. There is some evidence, some, that when you go anywhere from two to four days that you see an increase in sperm cows and you see an increase in the potency of your sperm. But that very same study also continued out past four days and it actually had terribly detrimental effects to your body. The sperm count went down, testosterone levels went down, they were more stressed, people got less sleep. It was actually not a positive thing. So if you really want to give this a try for a couple of days, then scientifically you should be just fine and you might find some benefit. But 40 is not only ridiculous, it is utterly insane and bad for your health. But stay off the porn. That is absolutely correct. It feels so good when you can walk past a woman that, that is used to getting eyeballs and you just keep your eyes straight or you know what i do a lot of times i just look the other way i, I actively look away i'll just walk and i'll look away boom i don't want to say hi i don't want to meet your eyes i don't want to give you not an ounce of my attention look away so look away from these hoes just look away it's interesting that this community tells us that women actively avoid the nice guys and hold all the power when it comes to relationships, but they're also the ones telling young men to actively look away from a woman when she's walking by. Because I'll tell you right now, if you intentionally and noticeably stare off in a different direction away from a woman, she is absolutely not going to have interest in you. There is nothing wrong with looking at somebody as you pass by them, and totally normal behavior if you make eye contact, say hello a general greeting, how are you, and move on with your life. It doesn't have to be this dramatic. This is clearly coming from someone who was hurt by a woman. Maybe he made an approach and he was pretty badly rejected, and it comes across in his advice. But I promise that if you follow what he's saying, you will only be more unhappy. Ready? I'll explain dating for you in 30 seconds. It's super fucking simple. You see a girl who you're attracted to, you don't like think about what you should do. You just go talk to her, and then you ask her, do you want to hang out sometime? And then guess what? When you get her phone number, you don't just text her and see if she can keep responding you actually set up a date that week and then guess what 
You show up on the date and you ask her, hey, you wanna come back to my place after? You don't just kind of hope that sometimes she might stumble into your bedroom half naked and something might happen. Boom, that was less than 30 seconds, I think. So when you're sitting there thinking, but I'm not sure if she likes me, I'm not, I'm not sure what I should say. That is you making it complicated. That's your brain thinking of reasons why you shouldn't take action because you're afraid you're gonna get rejected and it's gonna hurt. Guess what, bro? I've been rejected hundreds of times. Did it hurt? Maybe, maybe a little bit, but you gotta get over that shit. There's another girl you're gonna see tomorrow. I picked this video to end on because I wanted to leave everyone with a positive note. And while I generally don't agree with this particular person, this is actually pretty solid advice. If you want to initiate a relationship with somebody, you have to take action. If you sit around and hope and wish and dream and don't put in any effort, then of course it's going to go nowhere. And you can be left with this awful feeling of, well, maybe she didn't like me and maybe there's something wrong with me. When in reality, you just didn't make a move. And that's something I see quite often in the red pill community. It's this fear of making an action, fear of doing something. And so it ends up becoming resentment and hate because women weren't interested in you because women didn't want you but you didn't exactly put yourself out there to appear as if you were interested in them in the first place. Look, if you take away anything from this video, it should be that women are not in some secret organization hell-bent determined to stop certain men from forming healthy relationships. But if you listen to the type of advice that I showed you on today's video, then that is what you are going to believe. That you are unwanted and will be forced to stay unhappy because you don't have a choice in the matter. And it's just like the last video said, rejection is normal. It's going to happen, but every no you get puts you one step closer to finding that yes and finding the person who's going to genuinely make you happy. And that's what I want for all of you, to have a healthy perspective on life and to be happy. But that's the end of the video. If you like what you saw today, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.